I'm going to show you how I bled the zoom brakes on the VDM10 electric scooter. This process should be the same for any scooter with the zoom hydraulic brakes. First let's take a look at the difference before and after brake bleed. This is the rear brake I already bled. And here you can see the front one that we will look at today. You can see there is a big difference between them. Okay, let's get started. First we unscrew the brake caliper. I clean the area around the brakes before doing this. Once we have it off, it's uh, best to clean it so no dirt gets into the system when you open the bleed screws. I used 80% isopropyl alcohol to clean it. Next, take off the brake pads and fit the brake block in their place to secure the pistons. Using pliers, you straighten the retaining clip and remove it. Then remove the brake pads. Put them in a clean place and be careful not to get any oil on the brake pads or the brake disc. Slide in the brake block and insert the pin that held the brake pads. Get your syringe and cup ready with the correct sweat adapters and correct rubber seals. Fill the syringe with mineral oil.
If you have a lot of air left in the syringe, turn it around and push the air out. Take out the screw from the bottom caliper. There is very little oil visible in the caliper, which explains the poor brake performance. Screw in the syringe with the oil. Keep the syringe vertical so any air is always at the top and is not pushed into the system. Next take out the screw from the top and screw in the plastic cup. Because the bottom caliper was dry, I put a bit of oil into the top cup and before pushing the oil up, I pulled a bit of oil down to avoid pushing the big air bubble further into the system. Best practice is to push the old oil out at the top so you don't risk contaminating the new oil in your syringe, as you can see here when the original red oil started to enter the syringe. Pushing the syringe at the bottom, you can see the old oil and their bubbles coming out at the top cup. Keep pushing the oil from the bottom until the syringe is nearly empty or the cup is full. Plug the cup, remove it and empty the old oil into a waste bottle. If the oil is clean, you don't need to empty it out.
Put the cup back into place at the top and fill it with clean mineral oil. Now go back to the bottom and pull the oil back down through the system with a syringe. You can see the bubbles coming out. It's best to have two people doing it so you can monitor the oil level at the top cup and you don't run dry and suck air into the system. If needed, put more oil in the cup. When your syringe is full, reverse the flow and push the oil back up to eliminate more bubbles from the system. Repeat the process until you no longer see any bubbles escaping at the top or bottom. You can also press the brake lever several times during the process which may free up more air bubbles. When done, remove the cup and replace the top screw. A bit of oil should come out as you are tightening it, indicating no air is trapped under it. Then remove the syringe with the remaining oil and put back the bottom screw on the caliper. Clean any oil that might have leaked on the caliper or brake lever and reinstall the brake pads.
install the caliper back on the scooter. Tighten the two screws to 90%, then press the brake lever to center the caliper on the brake disc and tighten the screws fully. Alternate between them to evenly attach the caliper. Release the brake lever and test the brakes. You can see the difference before and after the bleed. Test the brakes, the brake pads should not be rubbing on the disc. You can find all the tools and materials I used in the video description. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and make it easier for others to find. Next, I plan to improve the mud guards on the VDM10. You can subscribe or check back later to see that video. Thanks for watching.